Math Genie. In this video, I'll be explaining how to solve basic divisibility problems. Let's look at the question. Which of the following are factors of 3,435,864? And we're given with the choices 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. If you refer back to my previous video, I have already explained the divisibility rules for numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. I will link down the video link in the description box so you can re link, um, refer back to that video if you forgot the rules or if you haven't watched it yet. So number two, if you refer back to the visibility rules, if a number is even, it's divisible by two. Is the number 3,435,864 divisible by two? Yes, it is. Why? Because it's even. It ends in four. And we know that any number ending with even numbers are even. So yes, number two can be one of the answers. Let's see if this number is divisible by number 3. Well, how do you know if its number is divisible by 3? The sum of its digits has to be divisible by 3. So let's add up all the numbers to see if it's divisible by 3. Let's add up all the numbers. So we have to do 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. And if this number, when it's all added, are divisible by 3, the entire number here is divisible by 3. So let's add this up. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 8 is 23, 23 times plus 10 equals 33. Is 33 divisible by 3? Yes it is, because 33 is 11 times 3. So it has the factors, It's one of its factors are going to be 11 and 3. Three. So we know the answer and also include 3. Let's see if this number is divisible by 4. How do you know if this number is divisible by 4? The numbers formed by the last two digits have to be divisible by 4. So the last two digits, 64 is the last two digits. Is this number divisible by 4? Yes, it is, because this number, 64, has the factors 4 and not 20, 16. These two are the factors of the number 64. So when 4 and 16 are multiplied, you get 64. So 4 can also be the answer. How do you know if a number is divisible by 5? The ones digit have to be either 0 or 5. Well, is 4, which is the last digit, 4, um, is it 5 or 0? No, it isn't. So, can eliminate 5 from the answer choice. Let's look at 6. If the number is divisible by 2 and 3, the number is going to be divisible by 6. Well, we have already found out, figured out that this number, 3,435,864, is divisible by 3. We also know it's divisible by 2. So it has to be automatically divisible by 6. So 6 can be one of our answer choices. Let's move on to 8. If the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, then the number is divisible by 8. So the last three digits is 864. The last digit. Well, is this number divisible by 8? Yes, it is, because it has the factors 108 and 8. So when 108 is multiplied with 8, we get 864. So we can put 8 as one of our answer choices. And also, before I move on, I just want to point out, this is the last two digits. This is the last three digits. Please don't get these mixed up. It's so easy to like, forget which one is two digits and which one is three digits. Just remember, since four is smaller than eight, it requires two digits. And since eight is larger than four, it requires three digits. All right, back to the question. Let's move on to nine. If the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, 
it's divisible by 9. So the sum of the digits, which we'll already found out, which was 33, right? We already figured out from here, the sum of the digits is 33. Is 33 divisible by 9? No, it isn't. We can't find anything that when it's multiplied by 9 gets 33. So we can eliminate 9 from the answer choice. Finally, 10. 10, if the last digit is 0. Well, again, the last digit is 4. Is 4 divisible? Not divisible, but is 4 equal to 0? No. So we can also eliminate 10 from the answer choice. So the final answer to this question is the remaining numbers, which is 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. So the answer for this question is 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Whenever you receive any type of problem like these, which are in the category of basic divisibility problems, I always highly recommend you to actually write out the numbers if it's not given out to you and kind of cross them out and circle them as you go on. In my next video, I'll be explaining how to solve more difficult divisibility problems. Thank you for seeing until the end of this video. Mass Genie.